A while ago, many of you might have been flooded with selfies generated by Dobao, a powerful AI model, such as this, this, or this. They were so realistic they were almost indistinguishable from real photos. Unfortunately, the SeaDream series model that Dobao uses has not been open-sourced. However, this time ByteDance, provider of Dobao, has open-sourced the Bagel 7B MOT model. Bagel, translated into Chinese, means, bagel, which, like Dobao, steamed bun, is a type of snack. Could this mean it's a mini Dobao? The official claims position Bagel as comparable to GPT-4 or Gemini 2.0 in power and versatility. They provided a plethora of examples, such as, feeding in an image of a statue, the model recognizes it as David, sculpted by Michelangelo. Generating an accurate image from a complex prompt containing both text and positional information. Editing images by changing a person's pose or adding text. Effortlessly performing style transfers. Such as creating a 3D animated Mona Lisa. An anime style Einstein or Audrey Hepburn as a plush toy. Understanding navigation-based knowledge and perspective shifts to generate various motion videos. Supporting continuous conversations, such as generating an elf girl based on a prompt, then turning her into a plush toy. The model understands that it's referring to the previous image. A notable feature is the thinking mode, which can transform a brief description into detailed and coherent prompts to ultimately generate richer and more accurate results. The results are indeed impressive. You can try it out yourself on the official demo page. But can this model be used in Comfy UI? Of course. You just need to search for Comfy UI Bagel on GitHub, and you'll find two plugins. This time, I'm introducing the Comfy UI Bagel plugin created by Neverbiasu. A heads up, Bagel has some strict dependency requirements. Attempting to install it directly might break your environment you'll likely need to resolve some issues manually. If you're eager to try it after watching a tutorial, you can download the Comfy UI Bagel integration package from the description, which includes the model and the plugin. In this demonstration, I used that package. Currently, there's only one version of the Bagel model, and it's quite large at 29.2 GB. There's no mature quantization scheme available yet. After downloading the model, Place it along with the configuration files in the model slash bagel directory at the same level as your Comfy UI folder. Note, it's not in Comfy UI slash models. I'm 99% sure this is an oversight by the plugin author. Now, open Comfy UI, and let's give it a try. Starting with text to image. Begin by adding the core node bagel text to image. On the left, add the model loading node, no need to modify the model path. Add an image saving node for output. Since Bagel has reasoning capabilities, I'll also add a show anything node to examine the model's thought process. We'll use the same prompts that generated the cat and oriental pearl tower selfie with Dobao. There are quite a few parameters, the first two are the seed values, which I won't elaborate on. Image ratio defaults to 1 to 1. This plugin defines all sizes as 1024 by 1024 by default. I've tested other resolutions like 512 by 512 and 512 by 768, but the results are inferior, and the rendering wasn't significantly faster, so I recommend sticking to the default sizes. CFG underscore text underscore scale controls the textual guidance strength, higher values make the output closer to the prompt. Number underscore time steps represents the number of iterations. More steps improve quality but slow down rendering. The default is 50. Show underscore thinking displays the reasoning process. CFG underscore interval adjusts the starting range. It's generally best to leave it at default. Timestep underscore shift is similar to Flux's shift. Higher values prioritize layout, while lower values focus on details. CFG underscore norm underscore type is the CFG normalization type. Stick with the defaults, global or text underscore channel. In simple terms, global applies normalization overall. Local focuses on specific regions. Text underscore channel normalizes each textual prompt layer separately. CFG underscore norm underscore min is the minimum normalization value. A value of 1 disables normalization. If images appear blurry, try lowering it to 0. I set it directly to 0. Text underscore temperature controls randomness when generating text. Lower values make it more conservative, 
while higher values increase creativity but may result in inaccurate outputs. Click Run, and with a 16GB RAM RTX 4080, it took around 10 minutes to render. The resulting 1024x1024 image looked fairly polished and decent. However, the reasoning process was not displayed because I forgot to enable the show thinking option. The model supports Chinese prompts. So I changed the input to selfie of a young lady in Chinese and remembered to enable the reasoning display this time. I switched the aspect ratio to 3 to 4. One frustrating aspect of this workflow is that it lacks a progress bar. You won't know how far along the process is. After waiting around 13 minutes, the result came out. The generated image included two figures, which I thought was average. Using different seeds, I produced these other outputs. On the whole, they were all right. Now let's try image editing. The core node to use here is Bagel Image Edit. Add the necessary nodes, model loading, image loading, image saving, and the reasoning display node. Here's an image of a young lady. For the prompt, I used to turn this image into an anime style. In terms of parameters, there is one additional setting compared to text to image, CFG underscore IMG underscore scale, which controls the image reference intensity. You can adjust this based on the output results. If you want it to adhere more to the text prompt, increase CFG underscore text underscore scale, and if you want it to stay closer to the reference image, increase CFG underscore IMG underscore scale. After another long wait, the result came out. It does look like anime, but, it's kind of ugly. I tried an official prompt, turn it into a plush toy. The result still didn't look very appealing. My favorite official prompt is this one for a Polaroid-style effect. Let's give it a try. This output was definitely the best result out of the three. Looking back at these three transformations, the character's bun hairstyle remained consistent through all the edits, and it does look quite similar to the original image. Previously, we talked about using the HiDream i1 model, which produces excellent results for full image-style transfers. Its anime style output looks like this, so, which style do you think looks better? Let's clean up these nodes and now take a look at the model's image understanding capabilities. For this process, we'll use the bagel image understanding node, along with the model loading, image loading, and output display nodes. This time, I'll ask a detailed question in Chinese, asking it to describe the image content in detail. By the way, when you speak to the bagel model in Chinese, it will respond in Chinese. There's no need to specifically instruct it to answer in Chinese in your prompts. This node has four parameters, two of which, show underscore thinking and text underscore temperature, we've already discussed before. Do underscore sample. When set to true, it enables sampling during text generation, which increases diversity and randomness in the output. When set to false, it uses greedy decoding, selecting the next word with the highest probability every time, resulting in more consistent and deterministic responses. Max underscore new underscore tokens controls the length of the final output. If you want more detailed responses, increase this value. Otherwise, it's best to leave it at the default. The result is here, and it's very detailed. If you ask the question in English, the quality of the output is roughly equivalent to Florence 2's detailed image descriptions. Of course, the Bagel model doesn't just describe images, it can also answer more complex questions. I changed the prompt and asked it how to style a bun like the one in the image. The steps it provided were very detailed and practical. I might try them out next time. Let's summary, ByteDance open-sourced bagel model is noticeably weaker than the Seadream model used in Dobao. However, as a multimodal all-purpose model that supports image generation, image editing, and image understanding simultaneously, it does have its strengths. The downsides include limited parameters, slow performance, high hardware requirements, requires at least 16 GB VRAM, no good quantization solution yet, challenging native support for Comfy UI, with a complicated plugin installation process. For those of you who want to experiment, feel free to download my integrated package, but be careful not to mess up your environment. Alright, that's it for today's video. See you next time.